What is up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's episode of Offensive Scheme of the Week is going to feature our true three-head rush attack from this formation, or this playbook. This is going to come from the strong close and the base run, and it's going to be the halfback off tackle. Alright, um, runnable down is going to be the halfback dive, so the beauty of this is, is we now have a, a true a true three-headed running attack. We're in the middle. Uh, we can run middle to the right, we can run middle to the left. We can run off tackle to the right, which is why we call it the off tackle. This is an off tackle. It's a really good run. It's probably a, a lot better. Uh, it's a lot better than the dive. And then we can run off tackle to the left, of course, if we just playmaker the run to the left side of the screen. You see, it's a very effective both sides. Really, uh, pretty good run play there. So that's the basics of the three head rushing attack. We all know this from previous years of Madden and, and, and previous schemes we've broken down. You just kind of run to where the defense is weak, and we like to use motion snaps and things like that to get to get better blocking. But you know, all of that is is obvious. Um, so like here, if we run the halfback off tackle, we'll motion woods across. He's going to follow me here all the way across the formation. That's going to leave one less guy I have to block. And, and it'll get me to the edge a little cleaner. Alright, so that's the runs. Uh, pretty pretty short and sweet there on the runs. Um, if you run the dive, one thing we really like to do is snap Woods in the A-gap. Because he gets really a... Uh, he almost always blocks somebody, so it's worth it to have that extra blocker. We like to snap him like, right there. And, and it's just a really good, really good motion snap. Alright, that's the running plays. Um, let's take a look at mesh here. The reason we like mesh is because what we can do with it, um, we like to put Johnson on a zig. We're going to motion Woods across. And right after he passes Johnson, we're going to snap. And you see it's going to get a nice little speed burst against man coverage. It'll beat man for us. Woods is route will. Alright, and then um, also Johnson's route will beat man as well. So you see that massive separation that Johnson gets. And real quick, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. I haven't seen a lot of people doing this from the strong close this year. But take a look at that drag route separation. I'm sorry. What 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 just happened? Where's your where's your guy, 23? He got lost. That's my point. Um, this drag route is very effective. I like the fact that the quick audible up is mesh, and we can easily beat man to man coverage from this because of the effectiveness of that ma massive motion snap to Woods. Alright? Um, and then the last read on this play, obviously our snap read is the snap throw to Jackson if there's zone blitzing this. And then our last read on the actual play is going to be this deep corner route to Chandler against man. Will beat man uh, um, that way. Uh, play action audible is this uh, PA Saints cross. Again, we like to motion Woods across the formation. If they follow him, we'll go ahead and, and snap it right there. Um, and the beauty is Fred Jackson's route gets open for some reason. I don't know why, but against man, it does get open. And also get open against its own blitz. And then um, Woods' route, basically it's just a corner route. It'll beat man coverage. But the beauty of it is not necessarily... It won't beat man like a, like a normal one would. So... What we do is, if it, is we only going to throw this one if they're cover zero. Uh, and the reason for that is because we can pass lead that up. So, like that right there, and then just bomb it over top. That's basically the idea here. And Porter plays that really well, but normally that won't happen. I'll be honest, it really just won't. Um, you'll be fine. Now, if you want to just leave Woods on that side, so you want to quick snap him some, then just quick snap this play, and you'll see it'll, it'll beat man over the middle as a post as well. So, a couple of options there. Okay. Um, really, the route, the other routes of this play don't really beat man. They're more zone read. Um, Chandler's blocking, so you can put him on a drag if you want and use it like that. Um, and then the last play I want to focus on is inside posts. And what we can do with this play is... Motion was over, and we're going to let him set up, and then snap so he doesn't get bumped. Pass lead to the outside when he cuts to the outside, basically like a little, little out route there. That's our snap read on this play. Now, a lot of times I'll start using controlling that. If that's not open, then Johnson on his post will be open with a pass lead down to the inside you see there. And a lot of times they're going to have to pick one of those two to use or control. Alright, and then if that's not open... 
That's going to mean they're in some type of cover, too. And we're going to have Chandler open right over the middle of the field, as you see right there. So that's basically strong close right there for you. Three-hitter rushing attack with some really good passing mixed in. Um, very difficult to stop this. I'm telling you right now, this motion snap to, to Woods is going to get in their head. They're going to start worrying about the drag, 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 and you're going to hit them with this halfback off tackle. And look at that big-time run from C.J. Spiller uh, into the open field. So thank you for your time today. Hope you appreciate this video, and be sure to come back tomorrow. We break down the X Factor formation from the Shotgun Snugs formation, uh, a formation that a lot of guys are very high on with the Saints playbook.